getting started with Microsoft Office Access 2007, oh yeah, you're going to get started with this already because you are an Access 2007 superstar. November 6, 2009. Background. Advanced macros and update queries. Let's get into it. Suppose you were given a total pain in the ass job and were given a month to do it. You knew it would be a drag because of the data entry, retyping, editing, data importation, and vetting of the statistics you, let's be honest, could care less than the square root of zero about. But you do care about your job, so you put nose to the grindstone and sweat it out and you do the lousy task. Would you like to take this task that they gave you 30 days to do in and clean it off in one day? It's possible with Access 2007 using super duper macros and very hot queries. This video shows just such a task and you will learn the basics and more of how you can come across as an Access 2007 ACE superstar. The task was this. This particular client in Canada had many buildings. We'll get to the numbers later specifically. They had hundreds of drawings of different types for those buildings. They wanted to put all of those drawings with the buildings into a central database, but they had to be logged in and, and macro imported. Okay, the drawings had different disciplines, architectural, electrical, as you can see. Now, being in Canada, you had Canadian cities and provinces and one code number there and one code number there. Now, you know that for every city it's going to have either a province or a state if you're in the United States and it's going to have a postal code in Canada or a zip code if you're in the States it's going to have an address for the building obviously if you knew the building and you knew the drawing why couldn't you have that building put in or blow in the city the address the postal code the zip code the state the province put the drawing into this column here get the right discipline for the type of drawing, add your specific number codes to that system and make the client really happy. So, Access 2007, Mojo macros and quality queries coming up. We'll do this in stages. It is involved and if you're new to Access, don't worry. This kind of principle or principles can be used for anything and it's going to be used with this macro up here called new and then this one called one two three steps and then two to three and that's it those ones will do it and they will blow in all this information which I will show you presently just to show the proof in the pudding there are two hundred or there were two hundred and fifty two different buildings spread across Canada this is access 2007 we're gonna make some major macros and queries work for us and shrink 30 days work into one now as you can see here I did this project in 2004 so it was an earlier version of Access but obviously Access 2007 with its enhancements makes it easier for all of us now. 252 buildings I will scroll quickly just to show you that I ain't lying the building column here has been truncated for sensitivity reasons. You see 252 there? Yeah okay so there we are. 252 buildings. These are the drawing types. There were 280 drawing types and I'll just pan through them briefly because you gotta know that this is the truth so here we go scroll quickly okay so we've got 280 drawing types I will show you the number of buildings there are 11 provinces then I will show you how the macros work where I will run the macros and then we'll go into the background the design of the macros and the queries take the 252 buildings the 280 different drawing types the four different drawing disciplines with 40 different cities 11 provinces you're gonna make a perfect table because to do a bulk import as you probably know with databases the data's gotta be perfect you can do it in 30 days like they thought it would take or you can do it in one day your choice let's look at the odds here the possibilities are 252 times 280 times 4 times 40 times 11 there were 124,185,600 possibilities because don't forget any of the 252 buildings could have had any of each of the 280 drawing types that's a big number there's a lot of stuff can go wrong but there's a lot of stuff can go right basically these macros and queries did data fill we all know New York City is in New York State 
Toronto, it was in Ontario. Why would we have to re-input that for bulk import? Now, I'll show you the macros and how they work. All right, this is a snapshot of the form that we're going to do the macro runs. You can see the conditional formatting, Mississauga is different than Toronto, but both are in Ontario. Quebec is there. Bulk imports, there's no data there, which is differentiated from drawings that have been put in. Electrical is a different color than the discipline of architectural. Let's get to it. So, I hit new. And I'm not going to edit this because the macro does take a bit of time to crank. I am going to type in that one. Click the second. A lot of stuff going in the background. Bingo, bango, bongo. Drops me to here. Now, I'm just going to pick any drawing. There's, as I said, there's a million, right? We know there's a million. Let's take a uh, conference room. Watch. I hit this button now. It was an architectural drawing. Obviously, you see how it put conference room in here, and it took Montreal, Quebec. You know the coding of that, of course. Another thing to note as well, you see this field, the underlying table in that field, I set a default value of this, so that, so that as well saves time. Also, this is very detailed stuff. You're going to be dealing with detailed stuff. You would have to type that in, but not with data fill. Let's do another example. I'll take a building from Ontario. Now, the one to two to three steps macro, there is or there are about 100 steps in the background happening here drops us into the drawing field now the last one was contours or something wasn't it so let's take a different choice let's go for a long one here like this that's a really long one you would have to type that in now I'm gonna hit the two to three only macro the city gets put in the province gets put in the two building codes get put in, the address gets put in, it all gets put in automatically. That's the power of macros, update queries. You need date time in your underlying table. The date time has to equal now. You need a unique number. It's a primary key, usually invariably. It takes a while to crank these macros, but as you can see, look what happened. It put in that really long thing, Toronto, Ontario. You can see it works. I'll do another one from that Quebec and we will take a different drawing, obviously. Let's take, let's just take the first one to make it speedier. And you'll see it blows that in as well. It'll put in Quebec, it'll put in Montreal. There we are. I'll show you very briefly. The first macro is called New. I then went to Design view of that form and on click the macro name is that the particular macro instructions follow this blue arrow we're here so you close this you close that you open that you maximize that you go to record go to control the second macro was one to two to three steps that one up there I then again went to the design view of this particular macro that was the macro name now this macro had a little more jam you close this you open the table you minimize it you open the particular form you maximize it you went to record you went to control then you ran a macro here this guy had a lot of stuff within that macro you close it you open this you maximize this you went to record you ran another macro these two guys probably had about 12 lines each so it is quite involved but I will be doing some intro basic data fill update query vids and I think I have one in my in my channel so this is it but you can see it works it can save a lot of time you can save 30 days you can smash it into one thank you for your time